So, here you are in World War II. What was your day like? I mean, what were you doing? What, what was your duties? All right. It was necessary to house everybody in, in, the, uh, in the area. And we were all office workers, really. So there was a concern where we first were, and then we moved to another concern, which was simply like a uh, dormitory. And uh, in the dormitory, that's where we would eat. So in the morning we would get up maybe at six, and we had the usual things that people have to do in the morning, and we had to be at the cafeteria, we'll say around 8 o'clock. We had to be at the at work around 9. So we, we had to walk from the caserne, which is quite a distance, to, to work. But it was a usual uh, routine that you would have if you were working anywhere else. Once we got to work, then it was all uh, very high level, thinking and acting and producing. We had no time uh, to waste. Supreme Headquarters, you could say, would be the Army's uh, brain. No, what is it? What do we have? The, uh, the depot. The home depot. Okay, it was like the Army's home depot. So any general or any Omar Bradley or Eisenhower or uh, any, any general could request stuff just as you would request stuff from the home depot. And this could be anything, tanks, underwear, um, beer, clothing. Bullets, anything, absolutely anything. And it also included mail. So how do we get the mail to everyone? Because that was considered the, uh, the best way to keep the morale up. So my particular job was to make sure where every company was, where every uh, part of General Patton's army was to date. The thing is, if he moved five miles, we couldn't deliver the mail back here. They didn't want to go back and get it. So we had to figure out ways to... And how did you do that? that? How did you figure out the, all the logistics? It was logistics. We had maps and little pins that we put in. And, uh, but then you had the communication with the... We, we could also telephone. And how, what was the route like? I mean... The route was dangerous for someone to go from the Supreme headquarters to all these other bases? We didn't move. No, not you, but the, someone was delivering them, right? No, it's like Home Depot here. You go in and you want paint or you want uh, a piece of furniture. They have it shipped in. And they, if they're out of paint, then they get more paint. It's the same thing with our with our uh, army depot. So, so the mail would come to you guys? Then we had to arrange for the mail to come. Okay, did it come from New York? Did it come from Liverpool? Southampton? Where would it come from? And we chose Southampton. Uh, okay, now, when, when it went from Southampton, it had to go to a specific place. So if it were in the Normandy area, we would choose a certain location. The mail would all go there. Then the, uh, we had these little separate post offices. And uh, it would mean that they would move to... So the you town. didn't move from no, one from... no one from your group moved anything. You just yeah. made the logistics and the yeah. workflow yeah. around you guys. Yeah. I see. It kind of like circumvented around you all the, all the right. movements. So, but it just meant that some days... We didn't finish on time. Of course, yeah. 
And it was the Home Depot here. I'm, I think the, when, the, when the whistle blows, you leave. But we didn't. We had to stay there. And during the... Uh, so what did you do for pastime? Well, during the Battle of Bastogne, for example, we stayed up 18 hours. Uh, well, in, in spare time, uh, on a Sunday, uh, my HE was very liberal. He said, "You, if you want, if you have to go to church, tell me." And I said, "I have to go to church." He says, "What's your denomination?" I said, "None." I winked, and he says, "Okay, where are you going?" And I said, "Well, the cathedral." So I went to the cathedral, and they had great music, and wonderful architecture. So I would go there every. So Sunday. what was the morale of those people? I mean, that this country is a. The citizens had uh, uh, just been through a war. I mean, what were the people were doing, the residents of Well, there? for example, if I went to the cathedral and I would sit with French people, everything was in French, of course, mm -hmm. uh, one wondered if they didn't like to have soldiers sitting with them. Mm -hmm. And somehow they accepted this. Uh, they were friendly. They really were. Uh, if I went to a movie, because they had movies, and this would be after after work, meaning eight o'clock at night, let's say, uh, they didn't have the plan of uh, first come, first served. No, they just all came in and pushed to get in first, and this meant that uh, I do remember that I was groped several times while pushing in. I thought this is sort of an unusual thing. and uh, But the movies were all in French and they weren't that interesting. And you went to bars? I uh, we went to a bar. Uh, do you know what a whack is? I took a whack. What is that? A whack is a female or woman's army corps. So we did have women uh, clerks in our office. I think I may have had ten or more in my particular office. So Corporal Fuqua, F-U-Q-U-A, that was pronounced differently by a lot of them. Uh, she and I would go to the same bar, it was on the way to the casino, and we would order a Cointreau, a strong drink, with a chaser of champagne. Chaser of champagne? Yeah. <laughs> Champagne was inexpensive in Reims because it's in the department of the département of uh, Champagne. So she, she and I almost nightly, and he, the bartender would expect us to come. We would uh, have a drink, and then get to get to the caserne and the same thing, same routine. So it's unusual my war experience. It's like no one else's. But uh, have you noticed uh, the morale of the citizens there? Like, you know, what were they doing? They, were they out of jobs? Did they have work? The well, usual? First did of they all, had their usual routine? There were no uh, young men. There were no young men. They, they were all in the French army. Uh, so. Uh, what was the main employment source in that time over there in Rio? Champagne. No employment, like uh, to do what? To make champagne? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. That's they would work on the farms. Wow. Um, but, and you could also, uh, you could also... Your experience there must be... It's very memorable. Yeah. Very admirable. Yeah. Well? I also rode the bicycle around the country. Yeah. That's when I found that the President of the United States had been killed. That's when you found out? When you were on the bicycle? Yeah, a French couple came out running to give me the news. So they were friendly. Maybe yeah, we could talk about that? Yes, fine. Sometime. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.